Welcome back everybody to Minecraft Infinity Evolve Skyblock. Got it right this time. Okay, now, today we are going to work on... Basically, my crushing facility is working really, really well. Um, the water wheel has actually done quite a fair bit to assist in my power needs. There is another uh, windmill-like block that is in industrial craft too which i can you basically start spamming the hell out of but uh, to really do that effectively i really need to start processing my ores as i make them i have all this sand here and i'm not sand this is even dust this is even better combined here and i really kind of need it to be smelted down and put into here so that's what we're going to do this episode so we're going to make, I think is it one, two, three, four. I'm going to make four of those. Four of the electric furnaces here. Which is fairly easy. It's a redstone a iron furnace, which is plates and a furnace. So let's get into like building stuff, shall we? So we're going to need a lot of cobblestone. We're going to need one, two, three, four, five. Actually, we'll just take a stack. Why not? Why not? Let's take it. Actually, let's put it all back, and we'll just take a stack of redstone because I reckon we're going to need and not just one. I want a stack. There we go. I reckon we're going to need a fair bit of this. Right. So, um, hmm, the beanie is not straight. Ugh, OCD. It's not good. Okay. So that's that. So that's the furnace. That's the iron plates. We've got plenty of those. Uh, redstone we've got, electronic circuit, uh, insulated copper, plates, okay redstone, we should have just about everything. Should just have about, just about everything. Now, I think in this chest over here, new, this chest, or is it this one? No, I'm sure I had electric wire around the place. Oh, there we are. We have three. Not a lot, but we're going to need some more of the wire. So let's just put that in the middle former. Extruding, I think. Is it copper blocks? Yeah. Copper ingots should give me wire. Should. Should give me wire. Yes, excellent. Good. Okay, we'll let that run. Then we'll go and see about getting some more rubber because I don't think I've actually got a lot of that. Scanning through. Just checking, checking, making sure. No, I don't think there's any rubber in there. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's none in there either. So I'm going to have to chop down some of my trees. Uh, actually, I might use a lumber axe. I'm going to use my stone hatchet and go for the rubber trees. Hello animals, how you doing? If I actually had a sawmill, I could extract more rubber from these things. Something I'm probably going to look into. But this should give me, oh that's 12 already. I'm going to need four circuits. Four circuits, let's, let's do the math shall we? So four circuits. You need uh, six pieces of rubber per wire for the circuit. So six fours are 24. So I'm going to need at least, okay, that's 25 rubber. Let's just chop this one down and I'll replant the saplings. And keep moving on from there. Uh, that's the uh, saplings. I just. Want to plant that? Okie okie. I don't know if this qualifies as a nice little garden. I reckon I can do better. I could do better. Absolutely. Do a little bit of decorating. I mean, we've got a little pond out there at the back. So it's useful for uh, summoning in cows when I need them. Uh, right, so the rubber there, let's just throw that into one of these slab furnaces here. Uh, that's got fuel. Get that cooking. That's more. Uh, I'm 
it's seriously going to have to look into a big reactor. We're getting a lot of this Eulorium, and I think it could be really good. Definitely really good. I got 88 Eulorium, and probably going to have more coming in. Right, so we'll grab the wire that we've just extruded. We'll grab. See how much of this? Three. Really? Let's try and speed that up slightly. Put that there. We'll take half of you. Take that sand out. Put that in there. We'll grab half of you. And we'll get all four happening. Try and get this thing up and running today. Today! Not yesterday. Today. I'm going to put that in there. This thing is going to become a thing of the past. Absolutely, it's going to be redundant. Although, I'm probably going to have to keep a small one just for tools. Although, I don't really need any more tools to be honest. I've got the lumber axe that I really, really wanted. Right, let's get to... Have a little stop for a little snack. Right. So, electric furnaces, chips. Get that, go like there. We've got 19 of those. 22. I think I'm too short. Grab those. Do, do, do. There we go. That should be more than enough. Right, electric, electric circuit, da da, four! That's exactly how many I needed with a few uh, copper bits and pieces left over. Right, so iron furnace. Uh, the furnace, I need compressed cobblestone. Let's do that. Do, 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 do. That's not enough. Do, 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 do. Definitely not enough. That'll get me. One. <laughs> That'll give me one iron furnace. Uh, I need some more. Need need some more cobblestone, please. Thank you. Start doing the noisy things. So we'll get one set up, and we'll progress from there. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, electric furnace, iron furnace, compressed furnace. Da da. One. Stick that there for now. One of those. Take some more redstone. Take me circuit. Ta-da! Electric furnace. Right. So we'll take this uh, lovely piece of equipment. We are going to put this more or less here. All right. The idea is I'm going to boost this conveyor belt up and over. Oh, that's going to con that's going to conflict. Hmm. The idea was to have that go over there. Um. Or I could run power in at the top. Hmm. Darn it. <laughs> uh, or... I could... Hmm. Unforeseen circumstances. I could actually drop this conveyor belt down so it's no I can't because I only need access to the back of these things for power. <laughs> Poo. Well what I could do is this. <laughs> Not something I intended to do, but that's okay. We'll have to bring the whole structure out a little bit. Which is okay, which is fine. It's not exactly what I intended, but you do what you gotta do. 
I think for realism, a little bit later, off camera, I'll put some fences down to join those things up so it doesn't look like it's going to fall over. Right. Um, I've got a bad feeling electric furnaces. I'm going to need an industrial... Industrial, no. Yeah, industrial craft wrench. Uh, wrench, normal wrench. Uh, let's build craft. Wrench, industrial craft too. Hey, that's easy. I've got plenty of bronze. Uh, that's copper, that's tin, bronze. One, two, three, four, five. Easy peasy. Because if you break industrial craft machines with anything but a wrench, you'll break the machine really, really badly. And, yeah, you will not be happy <laughs> afterwards because you spent all that material to make the things and you didn't do it right. And it looks like I need more than... That's interesting. Use bronze to make carts? <gasps> Steve's carts. Hmm. No challenges coming through for Steve's, Steve's carts? Strangely enough. Maybe a lot of people don't know much about Steve's carts. Definitely got around to get around to actually making that, that computer craft stuff, though. Right, there we go. Industrial craft wrench. Ta-da! So... We take our furnace, like such. We do a block there so I can just base it off. So that's going to go in there. So these things coming out here, we're going to do a little bit more trickiness. Hang on, what what is, what is that? I think I've got a compressed um, monster in my mob farm. No. Or I had a compressed monster in my mob farm. It just conveniently died. Okay, anyway. Moving that right along. Oi. I want that cobblestone. Stop it. <laughs> I inadvertently actually turned my machine on. It's, all, it's going away and making stuff. I wanted the cobblestone for the furnaces. Gee whiz, got distracted. Right. So that's that. Well, actually, what, I'll, what we'll do today. We'll get one of these furnaces up and running. And then we'll... Uh, basically leave it for the day and I will go off camera and make the other four that I, I want yeah because I reckon I'm not gonna have the speed right so I'm gonna need the conveyor belts now, is there any conveyor belts in there yes there is awesome we've got a connector which is great we've got some wire I think do I have wire no, I don't think I do. Wire. Let's we'll get rid of those feathers for now. It's so disorganized! Ooh, failed! Failed! Failures! Alright. Anywho. Just have to basically pick and choose. <laughs> Actually, I do have some hoppers already there. <gasps> Here's some I pre prepared earlier. Yeah, I'm going to need, uh, actually, I'm only going to need one conveyor belt hopper. And the other one, I'm going to need the conveyor belt. So we'll go into there. Do that. Right. Okay. So we've got everything. Do we have everything, kitties? No. I'm going to need more conveyor belts. Massively. Okay, so conveyor belt is going to spit out this way. Uh, we're going to go there like that. So the results of the furnace is going to be spat out uh, that way onto that conveyor belt. That conveyor belt is going to go dink, 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 and did, did dink, dink. Do, 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 do. Right. So it's going to go up into there. Lovely. So it's going to go up in around the top. Now, we are going to be running power through the back of the machine. Like 
like so. Uh, right tag might have done goofed again. How is this going to work? Because it's not going to work. If I'm going to put power in back of machine, how am I going to get to the top of machine? Oh no, no. Yes. Um, it might be okay. <laughs> it might be alright. I'm going to need some more conveyor belts. Hello, cows. Where's the cow? Do I have any? Uh, oh, I got one. Hopefully, I get enough. Uh, Hello, Mr. Cow. Hello, Mr. Enderman. There we go. Good, Mr. Cow. Give me your leather. Hey, Cow. You know, if I actually got into blood magic, leather would be so very easy. But actually, make him, like killing cows is just as easy, too. Uh, da -da -da -da. Conveyor. Convey? Thank you. Two lots. Awesome. That should be enough. Should be enough. Yep, yep, yep. Automation. Automation is key. So that's there like that. Right. So here comes the fun bit. Definitely here comes the fun bit. Right. Take the hammer. We've got our chest. Good. Excellent. Fantastic. Uh, right, so what we're going to do is this. We're going to place that down there like that, and oh, I see my problem already. Mm hmm. I do. I see my problem already. Can I? Okay. We are going to do something tricky. Uh, can I get up there? And the answer is no. Uh, this is going to hurt. Nope. Can't get up in there. Right. Got this conveyor belt here. <laughs> we'll push that up. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now... Yep, cool, cool, cool. That one goes over there like that. We get rid of this this guy here. We put that up there. Sensational! Yes, I knew I could figure it out. Right, so that slap that can come here. Uh, ooh, stuck. I want that other bit of conveyor belt. Conveyor belt, come to me. I cannot get to you. Now I can. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> Not the way you should do these things, Raytac. Oh, well, never mind. So that's got to be lower down like that. And it is definitely going the wrong way. Yep, like such. Actually, that's going to go that way. So that's going to go... Where did that block go? Okay, you're over there. Fine. We've got to change you to flat. That's pushing the right way. Excellent. Then we'll take a uh, dropping conveyor. We place that on top, and it's definitely going the wrong way. Like that. And I'm going to need some more dropping conveyors, which will basically go along the top of these furnaces. And anything that uh, they can't process straight away, I'll do another loop of conveyors going back around, so it basically just goes round and round in a circle until it can process. Right, now we're just going to need to get some power. Power. 
Alright, you, uh, let's, I have no idea whether I'm actually going to, no, the connection is obstructed. Hmm. Well, what we're going to have to do is this. Right. Uh -huh. Hmm. Maybe if I get a um a power pole maybe. Cuz I got a power pole in there which is supplying that line. Or I need some way to get in here with the power cuz the power's got to come out to about here and probably either go up or Something like that. <laughs> it's too tight. It's too complicated. It's I'm probably losing power like crazy because of the all the excess nodes that I'm making. Do I have any more on me? Nope. The answer to that is nope. Right. Uh, da -da -da. Here you are. Hmm. Sure. To get power from there to there, I'm probably... Actually, this is what I'm going to do. I'll stick one there. If I do that, can I actually go here to here? Yes, I can. Can I go here to here? Yes, I can. So now we have power. Awesome. Yeah, I am probably, there is a lot of current loss when you start going from connection to connection, to, from connection to connection to connection. I'm probably going to think about trying and get some more power actually coming down through here somehow. Maybe I could connect that windmill into there and basically start feeding power into the end of the system, as it were. So that's got power. Great. So let's take our chest of nice little goodies. We'll take our iron ore dust, slap it in there, and away she goes. Yay! Automation progress. You can actually make, get speed upgrades for this. You can actually get speed upgrades for that. I think I've actually made speed upgrades for that. Hmm. Let's just for... I don't know. Experimentation. Turn it around so... Uh, that's going in the wrong direction. That's definitely going in the wrong direction. Yeah. So basically now that's creating a little bit of a, a circuit. So if I was to go and pretty much do this. That's a conveyor belt. I want to see that hopper. Thank you. Okay, so that's basically shoving... Oh. Angle conveyor belts actually do have a problem. Namely, they don't like feeding the... Oh. I've got a problem with that uh, power connection. Ah. Unforeseen circumstance. Hmm. Well, if I'm only doing one... Actually, that's got to go flat. Ah, <sighs> gee whiz. Okay. Uh, 
And I've got nothing left in my inventory. Damn it. Right, uh, let's throw that down. We'll pick up the, the storage crate. So I don't, I definitely don't want to have that despawn on me. So, that is definitely got to be like such. Can I go flatten it up again? And still have the... Can I? I don't know. Is it possible? Can one do such a thing? Alright, let's get rid of that. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I need an axe. Thank you. Right. Right. I'm going to take that conveyor belt. Thank you. Considering I've already got the power cable there. <laughs> Actually, you could... Uh... That should work. should okay let's take the dust put it in there like that okay it is, it is dropping out because it again conveyor belts don't like having empty blocks underneath them so let's try that again As you can see, it's going round and round in a circle. Uh, items on conveyor belts don't despawn, which makes them very, very handy. So there, there we go. We have an, a, one electric furnace. One. So I really didn't need to make those other four circuits. Eh, whatever. Sure. Let's have a look at making up these speed upgrades. Let's just empty out my inventory of all this crap that I've got. Yes, it's another chest with all these other lovely bits and pieces. I'm going to have to consolidate them somewhere. Somehow. Um, applied energy sticks. Yes. Definitely. Applied energy sticks will be good. Okay, so that works. So now all the irons going back up and they're there over that conveyor belt into the system and coming all the way back down here to wherever iron is down here cool stack limit 16 16 stacks of what of iron I'm probably gonna have to look at upgrading this thing too eventually okay but any who's that's happening that's great let's have a look at speed upgrades uh, overclock clocker upgrade I think it's the overclocker upgrade Upgrades. Next. Next. Of course, there's lots of upgrades. Dentistry, chisel, storage drawers. Where is the. That's Project Red. Ah, here we are. That's nuclear control. Here we go. Industrial craft. Overclocker. Decreases process time by to 70%. Increases power to 160%. So this we need 10k coolant cells. You get coolant cells by surrounding that with tin plate. Okay. Okay. Well, there was something I actually did do. Way back when, we made one of these. Because we could. We have a universal coolant cell. So that we surround with tin plate. Uh, do I have tin plate? It doesn't look like it. Got to go over here, get some tin. Basically squash that. 
Uh, tin, let's grab, I don't know. A nice round number, say 16. Do, do, do. Right, metal former. Uh, rolling, thank you. It's Inva, no, I want the tin. That'll give me the tin plates. For the meantime, actually, wait, I need three of these. So I think if I go to here, go to there, go to there, empty cells. Extruding tin plate will give me three of them. Okay. So what we'll do, we'll stop that. Uh, that's cutting. I don't want to cut. I want to extrude. That's actually pretty handy. It's very handy, in fact. Okay, so we'll just roll up some more tin. We'll take our empty cells. Go over here where the water is. Empty cell. Uh, right, canning. Okay, I've got IC2 coolant. Drain cell into tank, fill cell from tank. Canning. Huh. That's a problem. Drain cell into tank, fill cell from tank. Uh huh. So, what's here? I've actually managed to get this uh, IC2 coolant in this uh, canning machine, which I really didn't want. I actually want more into the cells themselves. So, I don't know how to convert this back into here. Except, make some more coolant. But I can show you how to make more coolant because I've got the handy dandy crushing machine now. So I'll just throw that into this hopper here. Hit go. Stop it once it gets to cobblestone. Actually, thinking about cobblestone. Ooh, nearly. Whoa, shit. Ooh. Off the conveyor belt. <laughs> nearly did it. Turn that off. Okay. We nearly got crushed. That would have been bad. Okay, so I got some dust. The dust itself is actually going to uh, end up in here because it doesn't go into an automatic sieve, which is okay. It uh, stops itself. We put the lapis dust from the crushy into here. Now that, instead of actually putting it into the coolant tank, you should put them in the empty cells, like such. Excellent, now we've got three. Universal, that's... Why is that different? I don't know why that is different. Universal coolant cells empty. Okay, so they're different. Universal fluid cell. Oh. Ooh. Okay. So I seem to have made a something that was not intended to make. So put more of those in there. I'm going to have to base it. We'll, we'll, actually, what I'll do, we'll do a cut here and uh, I'll make some more of this stuff and we'll, we'll basically get back in, into things. Okay, now I've actually got uh, three of the coolant cells here. Uh, oh, that's just going to... Uh, no, don't do that. Don't do that. And here's a chest with a lot of other stuff too. Holy crap. What's you? you your iron plate. Alright. So we'll go back to the metal form. We've got the tin plate from before. And now we should be able to make the <coughs> three 10k coolant cells. 
like such. Uh, overclocker upgrade. Uh huh. Uh, okay. Ah, oh, that's right. The shift click doesn't work when you have things that actually have like fluid in them, or even like items with. Uh, data associated with them. Okay, so we've got two up overclock upgrades. Fantastic. So let's see how this all will work. Now, the uh, the whole conversion between EU and RF, I'm not entirely sure on. So, so process time down to, basically now by half, increased power to like just about double. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay, let's just put, say, lead and nickel. We're going to give it basically two of these and see how it copes. It is processing it fairly quickly. Of course, if I wanted to do this, say, like four times as fast and just have four electric furnaces all in a row, probably would be better more power efficient to have more of them but this actually saves space so i'll probably i'm definitely going to do like an extra four furnaces along here an extra four yeah four furnaces basically dotting it along here i've got the ability to run power to them now so that's good um yeah so that's pretty much what i'm gonna do for until uh next episode so thank you all for joining me and just remember if you've got this far and you do like the video, please click that like button. Bucket. Yeah, click the like bucket. The bucket of likeness, do click it. Thank you. See you next time.